girl, what a world, what a light. Oh, I married Joey. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in Why Mary Joan. Here I am, lover. A Angel, it's me. I'm here, dear. I'm Brad, I. Hence, you better stop, dear. We'll be late. Going to see the play? See the play, she says. We're already 15 minutes late. Well, let's hurry. Oh, no, no hurry. We've got plenty of time. Huh? No one will be seated during the first act. This is a mystery play. Imagine missing the whole first act of a whodunit. Well, darling, you'll still find out who done it. You'll just never find out what he done. <laughs> Talk to me, Brad. Please talk to me. Brad, I love you, and I know that you still love me, and, and please talk to me, if only to say, drop dead. Brad. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, I, I was so afraid that you were so angry with me that, well, maybe you might have canceled our reservations for this weekend. Oh, I could never do that. As a matter of fact, I spoke to Judge Carter about hearing my case this Friday. That'll give us an extra day. And there's just one thing, Joan. I'll be very busy today clearing up as much work as possible. And those reservations have to be picked up by 4 o'clock sharp at the travel agency. Oh, don't you worry, darling. I have to go downtown this afternoon anyway to buy a new pair of shoes, and right from there, I'll pick up the tickets. Now, Joan, you know what happens to you when you get into a shoe store. I'll be there, Brad. And if those reservations aren't picked up by 4 o'clock sharp, I'll they'll be give there. them away, dear. I'll they be just, there, they please. surely will. When they say 4 o'clock, dear, they mean 4 o'clock sharp. And if you're not there on time, we'll lose our reservations. We can. I'll be there, Brad! <laughs> Oh, good afternoon, madam. Won't you have a seat? Thank you. I know exactly what I want. I saw them in the window. Uh, model 104 in blue. Model 104 in the blue. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> there we are, madam. Model 104 in the blue. Perfect. I'll take them. Uh, I'll keep my account. Mrs. Bradley J. Stevens. Anything wrong? Oh. oh, I know. Most women would spend hours shopping for a pair of shoes, but I have an appointment at a travel agency in 20 minutes, and I intend to be there on time. <laughs> Do you have these in my size? Yes, ma'am. Won't you be seated? I uh, still have more than 15 minutes. I might as well find out if I like those better than the ones I bought. Oh. <laughs> pretty. I was about to suggest a pair and a half of our new moccasins. A pair and a half? Oh, 
<laughs> Very funny. <laughs> now, this is one of your plastic legs. I, I just put my arm into it like this. I wanted to see what it would look like. Up against... <laughs> if you'll pardon me, as long as you're being waited on, I'll, I'll go see what has to be done in the back room. Yes, honey, these legs are stuck on my arm. Will you get them off? Oh, certainly. Sit, Sit right, right down, down over here. here. That's fine. Everybody. Well, be we careful, Robert. Oh, we get these right away. This won't hurt at all. Okay. There is. Go. Oh, ah! Those are my feet. Oh, oh madam, our area. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, these. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a minute, George. Just a minute. I have an idea. Pardon me. Will you help? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Robert, 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 that isn't going to work at all. Let's I, do this right. Oh, I believe boys, you're listen, right. Will you please hurry? Because I, I have to be at the agency right away. Now, will you call? Paul! Oh. Oh, hey, now, Robert. One, two, two, three. <laughs> oh, what a mess. I could kick myself for this. Boy, have I got the equipment for it. Come on, fellas. Come on. Oh, hey. Now, just everything will be just fine. Just pull it, Robert. Right, here we go. Oh, that's the voice. It's a little harder now. Almost. That's... Ow! Oh, 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 dear. Madam is being choked, George. Oh, yes. Come on. Let's see. That's it. Now you're trying to stop. If I could... If I could... Boys, let's do this systematically. I'll count three and then pull, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gosh, Mabel, how am I going to tell Brad I was too late for the reservations? I... Oh, hurry, dear. He'll be home any time now. Now, hold still. You must have been embarrassed having to go to the ticket agency. Oh! Sorry. And everywhere with these legs stuck on you. Well, that was bad enough. But coming home when I got into the taxi cab, oh, that fresh driver. Why? What did he say? Well, he took one look at me with my four legs and says, Who says it takes two to tango? <laughs> I don't blame you. There! Oh, thanks, Miss. Oh, did that ever hurt? But what'll I tell Brad about the reservation? What'll I tell him, Mabel? Joni, I'm home! Heaven sakes, he's home. I don't know how to break it to Mabel. Wait for uh, Don't leave me a... Mabel, don't leave me alone! I... Love her! <laughs> I didn't know you were that excited about going away on our vacation tomorrow, but I'm kind of excited myself. We will have a wonderful time. Yeah, sure. Just think fishing, golfing, swimming, tennis. It'll be great, huh? Brad? Uh, yes? Let's not go. But <laughs> why not? Well, we'll have such a wonderful time fishing and dancing and all that wonderful food, and then we'll come home. You'll we'll get such wonderful food, and you'll be mad at me. We'll fight, and you'll leave me. And wouldn't you rather have me than a rotten old three-day vacation? <laughs> oh, Joan, you're so much fun. I am? <laughs> Listen, Joan, I, I got a great idea. I I'm so excited I won't be able to sleep. Why don't we leave right now? Right now? Yeah, come on, let's back. <laughs> Boy, are we going to have a wonderful time. Yeah, we would have if I had gotten the reservation. Yeah. What? <laughs> what did you say? 
Well, honey, you see, you remember I told you that I was going to buy a pair of shoes today? Well, I went into a shoe store. I had plenty of time. So I walked right up to the salesman and I said, I know exactly what I want. Model 104 in blue. Wrap it up. He says, here you are, model 104 in blue. Thank you. Out I go. Ooh, there's a lovely pair of shoes. So I put my hand in a pair of plastic legs like that, see? And I looked down and said, oh, very nice. Up comes the salesman. Could I interest you in a pair and a half of moccasins? Pair and... Oh, it's very funny, pair. <laughs> no, I said, you see, I just put my hand in a pair of plastic legs like this. And what do you think happened, Brad? They got stuck on me, and I couldn't get them off. And really, I, I, I just, I, 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 you see, we had just the, the fellow. <laughs> Can you calm it, dear? Why can't we go on our vacation next weekend? Because we won't be free next weekend. Ow. Oh. You see, when we plan to go away for the weekend, I arrange for Judge Carter to sit in for me, in exchange for which I sit in for him next week. Well, thank you. Well, why can't you call Judge Carter and tell him not to sit in for you tomorrow? Then you'll be free to go next weekend. Say, that's a wonderful idea, Joni. I'll call him right now. Oh, darn. What's the matter? Well, I just remember he told me that he and Mrs. Carter are going to a dinner party tonight, and they won't be home right now. Well, you can call him in the morning. Well, if he's going to have to stay up most of the night reading up on those cases for me, it wouldn't be fair to ask him to call the whole thing off after he did that. I suppose not. Say, look, Joni, they ought to be home, say, 12 or 12.30, I could call him then before he sits up all night reading the material. Oh, darling, you're so brilliant and so smart. <laughs> Why don't you go to sleep, lover? I'll call Judge Carter. Look, Johnny, the man is doing me a favor. The least I can do is call him myself. Well, darling, why don't you take a little nap? And I'll wake you at 12.30. Well, I think I'd better stay up. <laughs> no, darling, I want to do it for you to make up for, for you know what. Please. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, you lie right down on the couch, darling. Mm -hmm. I'll cover you up. Thank you. Nice and comfy. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll wake you at 12.30, dear.
Darling. Wake up, dear. Uh, time uh, to get up. Uh, where, where you? Uh, oh. 12.30. Uh, time to make the call, dear. Uh, I'll get Judge Carter for you. Uh, hello? I I'd like to speak to Judge Carter, please. Oh, I see. Well, will you tell him that Judge Stevens said not to fill in for him tomorrow? <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Mrs. Carter. Joan, I wanted to talk to him myself. Well, he was busy outside putting the car away. <laughs> oh, boy, am I ever sleepy. Let's go to bed, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sleepy, too. I think I'll get a glass of milk before I go to bed. Okay, dear, but hurry. <laughs> I wonder who that can be. Who's there? Milkman. The milkman at 12.30 at night? <laughs> Slow horse. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm sleepy. Let's go to bed, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll be in as soon as I finish my milk. <laughs> Oh. oh, boy, I'm sleepy. Uh, let me brush my teeth first, dear. <laughs> It's all yours. Thanks. <laughs> what was that? My garter broke. Mailman. The mailman? At this hour? Night letter. You know, somehow I... I don't feel very sleepy. I suppose it was that nap I took. <sighs> A rooster? I thought they only crowed in the morning. Well, this one's probably from the East and not used to the time change yet. Hello, Judge Carter? Uh, Judge Carter, this is Mrs. Stevens. Listen, I know you've been up half the night reading all that material, but I wonder if you'd do me a very big favor and not go to court for my husband this morning. And when you see him, tell him that I gave you the message last night. What? 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 <laughs> uh, thank you, Judge Carter. <laughs> Bye. Oh. So, 
You called him at 12.30 last night. Oh, my God. Can you let me go through all of this? A slow horse. <laughs> A night letter. <laughs> A rooster from the east. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Joni, I'm home. Oh, oh, Brad. Oh, darling. Brad, you're going to be so proud of me. We're not leaving until tomorrow, and already I've taken care of everything. Really? Did you remember to uh, pack my swimming shorts? Packed and sent. How about my fishing boot? Packed and sent. My tuxedo? Packed and sent. How about the plane reservation? Packed and... <laughs> Packed and sent? No, lover. <laughs> Packed in bed. <laughs> Seen in tonight's show were Geraldine Carr, Robert Jellison, George Peroni, David Alpert, and Robert Spencer.